Hey, what's up you guys? This is Ninja XTX. And welcome to video 113 in my new round of philosophy videos. Now, tomorrow is Veterans Day. So this is gonna be a Veterans Day related video. Freedom is not free. Somebody paid a price for it on down the line, whether it was Nathan Hale at the beginning of this uh, nation or the soldier on the front line today. Freedom is not free, as I said. There are a lot of people that paid the ultimate price for our freedoms that we enjoy today. Whether we agree with the direction the, the country is in or not, we still live in a free country. Um, we don't have to worry about the things we say getting us put in jail or our religious beliefs getting us put in jail, where as if you go to another country they're censored in what they say, they're censored in what they do. They don't have the, they even have to beg for bread. They don't have the freedoms that we do to eat what we want to eat, to um, go see the movie we want to see, um, to marry who we want to marry, to um, be, just, just to be free. They don't have that type of Luxury. Now, if you know a veteran, stop them. Shake their hand. If you run into one on the street, stop them. Shake their hand. Say thank you for your service. It has been my honor and privilege to trained in the martial arts under a lot of veterans and when you speak to a veteran, veteran they teach you a lot about patriotism not by what they say but by how they act patriotism is something that I've always held dear. Um, I love America. I love the freedoms that I have. But I realize that those freedoms could be taken away tomorrow. It's not whether we're Democrat or Republican or Independent or whatever. We are Americans. Black white, Cuban, Asian, um, whatever nationality you may be, we are Americans. Um, and we must stand together and fight if that, if those freedoms are threatened. Now, I hear a lot of people say, well, why are we going over to this country or that country to fight? We're going over to other countries to make sure the terrorists or the dictators over there don't seep their way over here. We're going to make sure our brothers and sisters in other lands, because if you look at it, all around the world, we are all brothers and sisters. We're going to make sure our brothers and sisters in other lands are not oppressed. There's a Green Beret uh, motto, De Oppresso Libera. That basically means free to oppressed. It is a soldier's duty to go and 
free those in need, whether it be building a school, whether it be uh, arming the our allies. That's what that's what soldiers are there for. They're there to give the training. Who are we to sit there and say it's wrong because? And it's a very thin line here, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm about to say. A dictator could come over to this country today. What would you do? So, the only defense we have are the soldiers. So, when I see someone disrespecting the stars and stripes or disrespecting our military it makes me angry because they don't understand what the soldiers go through you got soldiers that go through uh, PTSD on a daily basis you got soldiers that are double amputees triple amputees um, I see that a lot when I go to Shepherd's Spinal Center. Um, you've got soldiers that have to deal with cancer because of the chemicals that are dropped into bombs. Um, you've got so you've got soldiers that deal with so much, but they still come home and they have to deal with. People disrespecting, like the, the there's a Baptist church, and I use that term loosely, Westboro Baptist Church. I'm sorry. They don't deserve to be called a church. Because anybody that will stand outside a, a soldier's funeral and pick it, I, I, what? I just, I just don't get that. But... My challenge to you guys that are watching this video, if you know a veteran, if you see a veteran on the street, and some of the veterans are now homeless, if you know a veteran, if you see a veteran on the street, if you run into a veteran that may be homeless, do what you can to help them because they made America free. I hope that made sense. I hope that uh, lifted someone's heart. And I hope it touched someone's spirits. God bless America. If you guys have any questions, comments, or requests, please send them to my YouTube account. Or if you know how to get in touch with me on Facebook, please do so there. And once again, God bless America. To all the soldiers. I love y'all. Please come home safe. Bye-bye for now.